my god. No. Please, don't. Come on, guys. Please don't do it like this. I show you a better way. If we build a professional smart home system like Loxon here, we have some wiring to do in the electrical cabinet. And if we just switch one load, for example, a light, we go in with one cable coming from the dedicated breaker, maybe from the living room if the light is there, and then we go out with another cable going to the lamp. Let's have a look. So first we need our wire unstripped. For easier filming, I take out the clamp here. And now, as you saw in the beginning, you could, in theory, put this in here. Let's see here under the microscope. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this kind of filming. It's way too long. So you would have to cut it at least half here. So you can never have a short circuit somewhere. But of course, it's also super dangerous if somebody puts the fingers in there. Only trained professionals, of course. Then it's super dangerous to get an electric shock here because this could be high voltage coming in here, depending on the load. So what I like to use are those end caps, wire caps. I will link a set down below. There is different diameters available. Also take care not to use the wrong one. So for here, it's a 1.5 square millimeter cable. Then I have a nice tool here, which is working for lots of different sizes. I think up to 10 square millimeters. This now created a super strong connection. It's almost impossible to rip it off just by hand. For these ones, it's okay. If you put it fully in, then it's fully isolated. So you're unable to touch it here. But let's say for this living room, we not only want to switch one lamp here, but maybe there is two more. So we would need the permanent power from the breaker on the first input here. Then this is the output of relay one. Then we need it on the second relay as well here and on the third one here as well. It's typically easier to bridge the permanent power from here to the next one, to the next one. If all of those loads being switched here are on the same breaker, of course. Permanent power coming, then I've prepared these bridges here. So we go from relay one input, relay two input, relay three input. At the very end, we need a single cap as we had previously. And between those, I have special twin caps, also for different diameters. So here, two cables fit inside. Black on black, but still, you should see the diameter is bigger because it's two cables then. This should then look something like this. Not so easy in the microscope. Okay, so both ends are isolated nicely here. Then I will press them together. And now we have a nice and safe and professional connection. So one more time for the first one with the 230 permanent coming here. The copper was a little bit too long because this could lead to a problem if we push it in there. Then you see we are no longer able to reach the very end and we might have here a dangerous situation again. So what to do? <laughs> I typically cut them off like this. And now it could be that here it's no longer nice and square and it could be a problem to fit in there. But in this case, it's still okay. I typically twist them so the, the white part is not blocking the next connection point here. So we end up like this. Great, isn't it? Just for you guys, I've prepared a super nice demo cabinet where we have some fun in future videos. I have the main power coming here, a dedicated RCD for certain loads to play around, then one RCD plus breaker just for the mini server's power supply so nothing affects the mini server here. So what I do here, I go with the permanent power, let's say from the living room here, I go to the relay, go to the input here, I have a single cap here as you see, then if the mini server closes here, closes the relay, then I go up again, 
onto my loft terminal blocks. And here I connected a simple LED bulb to it. So if I press this push button here, the lamp turns on and maybe you can also hear the relay click. And this is how it's done professionally. All the stuff linked down in the video description. And if you like this kind of content, I would be super honored if you subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Bye.